My name is James Williams Jr. This is Cup of Epic 2, and this is my last video for the night. So, I have to make this video. I don't want to make this video. I hope that I never, ever, ever, ever have to make another Black Shane video. So, let's begin with the asshole that stole Francis McDormick's um, Oscar, or whatever the hell the damn award is. The award that we know that James Williams Jr. as an actor is never going to get. Ever. I'm an actor who has not been discovered, and at the rate I'm going, I will probably be discovered when I'm dead. But, until that day, this jackass has done the worst possible thing, and this just goes to prove that, you know, this is why every other race is laughing at us. I mean, they're literally laughing at us. You know, when when a white person kills somebody, white people don't get on the news and say, God, I hope he's not black. You know, when a black person gets on the news, we all say, God, don't let him be black, because we know that that one guy is going to fuck it up for the rest of black people for the rest of eternity. And only black Americans. I can't speak for people from Africa or Haiti or... Jamaica, any of that shit. Because it's only black Americans that tend to do this damn dumb shit. Why? I don't know, but why? These these are the times where I'm like, why couldn't I just been full-blooded Native American? Nope. <sighs> My grandmother fucked up. Anyway, <laughs> so, sorry, Grandma. But anyway, you know, we, we, we have these moments where black people are on that Mason-Dixon line of normal. Where people are going to look at us like we're finally fucking human beings. And then this guy decides, hey, I won this Oscar for Get Out. Even though he's not um, peel, pale. You guys know who the fuck I'm talking about. Anyway, he's not that guy. and He's parading around and the photographer had to grab him and get the damn Oscar back for Francis and all that. I'm like, come on, man. And then to top that off, he fucks himself with technology. He's recording it live on Facebook and all the other bullshit. And now all the comedians are having an ass of a time with this guy. And here we are in the black community saying, God damn it, one more. Why? And this shit has to stop. Come on, people. They know we're here. Don't make it bad for the rest of black society. Don't have any more fucking nigger moments. And do fucking stupid ass shit. I'm sorry if I have offended anybody with that. I usually don't like to use the word nigger. Because it sucks. When I've been called it one too many times in my lifetime. But not by black people and white people. But mostly by black people who don't understand the depth of that word. I've only had two white people in my lifetime call me that. And um, they didn't really get away with it. I'm kind of ashamed of that. But anyway. I should not have hit the girl in the mouth. And I shouldn't have attacked the other person. Anyway, yes, that was a bit of a confession. So, now let's move on to the more serious shit. As you know, there was another shooting. And unfortunately, again, someone has taken the life of their family members. They took, he killed his parents, I think, that they were his parents. And unfortunately, he was a black man. He just made us look horrible. I know you guys are thinking, oh, James, but you're not all the way black. Why are you making this speech? Because even if I'm not all the way black, I still have to go shopping with other every other person that's black. And when one black person fucks up, we all feel it. Because no matter what, my birth certificate does say Negro. So that means I'm black. I can be all the half-breeds I want. And that's not change the fact that legally, I'm a black man. And proving that to the world has been the hardest part because a lot of black people don't have good curly hair. I have it. You know, I use enough royal crown to keep this shit straight. But, you know, the fact of the matter is that all it takes is one. One person of color, specifically a black person. And every black person or anybody's brown, your ass is going down because one idiot fucked it up for the rest of us. So you guys want to judge me on that, that's fine. You have the right to do that. But am I wrong? How many times do you get up in the morning and hear something bad on the news and the first thing that comes out of your mouth is, God, don't let them be black? Probably next to never. But every time I hear something on the news and it's bad, it's like a shooting or anything like that, the first thing that comes out of my mouth in prayer 
in Jesus' name, is God, don't let that person be black. Now, if he's black and he's foreign, like not American, okay, cool. Because that doesn't really affect us that badly, but it still affects us on some level or another. Or as Dr. Martin Luther King said, what does not affect you directly will affect you indirectly on some level or another. So, you know, you gotta think about this shit, man. And you know the main reason why I hope like hell I never do anything stupid. Now, if you didn't hear that, let me repeat it. I hope like hell that I, as in me, James Wilson Jr., never do anything exceptionally stupid because I don't want my family to suffer for something stupid that I've done. You know what I mean? And that's what keeps me from doing really dumb shit. I don't really love my family like talking about it, but I don't hate them to the point where I'm going to purposely go out and do something stupid so that they all have to suffer. I carry my own weight. You know what I mean? I don't sit here and be like, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to fuck this up. I'm going to do every damn thing I can to make everybody's life completely fucking miserable, and especially my family. No, my family does enough misery to me to last a lifetime, and I will let karma, karma, what I was trying to say was karma, and God at the same time work that shit out. I'm James Williams, and you just come for number two. Be seeing you.